Garcia, who's only been in the ring 14 times as a pro. He weighed officially 130 pounds. This veteran of 31 professional bouts has, is perfect in the ring. 14 victories, no defeats. Above this line, shake hands, good luck to both of you. This is boxing, it's a little chill here in StubHub. And let me tell you something. I'll let him come to me, and as the rounds progress, I'll start doing what I need to do. And Ryan Garcia says, don't worry, I'll make my adjustments as the fight progresses and finish as a true prospect, and then I can once again become a world champion. And when you see the right hand, and he's staying close to be able to do that. And you see the body. He's not bringing it up. He has to double a jab up. That would make Valens be kind of leery. Careful not to try to come out like he came out in opponents before. Uh, in a way of, of keeping him off him, which is not going to be a good thing. He must, Garcia must. He's also his trainer. I want more jabs. Is that, that's not. Nonetheless, Ryan Garcia connects with a nice left and right. You see the left no, no, no. caginess of a fighter, B-Hop. You've been there, done that. As now they go at it, he's looking to prove that he belongs amongst those names, B-Hop. And boy, the nations, they just want to see Ryan put three, four at a time. Nice right hand there to the chin of make him think. I don't step want him back, to think that he can back. just do what he push, push wants up. to do against lesser fighters. Fighter like Garcia has to figure out with that right uppercut that nice. I mentioned earlier. There it is. And you know what it is, shot, and it's over. That impresses me about this young man is how he's able to create space and take it back. Jason Velez is a more experienced fighter with his 33. Ryan Garcia was supposed to be, did not happen. And so here he is, headlining on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. So far. Overhand right now. So, yes, but so far. Thank you very much to our ringside reporter, Beto Duran. And I mean, just the young prospects, but this was once the story of Jason stop, stop. Right there, another right hand that makes Velez's legs wobble. Valens spoke ovation of Ryan Garcia as he lands two overhands right. Big right hand. And he's here for a long time. And even though fourth round and fifth now go a long way, way past this fight. And, and Ryan Garcia, look at the combinations. Uh, get your hand back on it. He seemed to be sharper, quicker, and he seems to get the last two or three points. But it's also the fight that Jason Velez envisioned. I mean, to think things through here, and he lands a nice uppercut as Velez tried to get aggressive, and he's... So those quick punches won't be effective to him, but I doubt if he can withstand the speed. Uh, did a good job in terms of that, but there's that overhand right that once again finds a home. He has Velez walk in like he's going now. Once again, he catches him with the right hand coming in, and then can do tonight. And nice left hook there from Jason Velez as the fight progresses. Not so much in sparring, but... You did. What's it like when you succeed in doing what you came out to do? Well, throw off a left hook in a left hook position. Feet planted. Read about everybody saying this is deep water. No concern in his corner. All right. So Ryan Garcia will have to deal with as Bella said. I'm conditioned. I stopped working at the fast food place. You got to break him down. And he got to change up from this hit me with an uppercut. Uh, Garcia has a good. All right. Back to the rope there. The he's trapped him and, and actually bum rushed him to the corner and just let all his hands go like he tried to do. Fight this evening. What I like about Velez, he continued to come forward. You know, he's not as talented. Trying to shine and the fans are still with him. And Juan Lopez. Oh, big right hand from Brian Garcia. Back, put in a workmanlike evening. And he takes a nice left hook. And I said, hey, did you bring your lunch pail too? He said, I did, because this is a tough fight. I know what I have to do. He assess where he is. He's been calling out the champions. But you know what? Jason Velez proved that tonight it was different. And he, that's a learning place that everybody's not going to go down. How do you become the monster? Hello. <laughs> the businessman, Bernard Hopkins, as this fight comes to an end. Ryan Garcia! Where he landed 29% of his punches, just over 500 thrown, 150 cheers. But I think when you all look at it, he's a 19-year-old who's growing fast in this. Okay, don't move back. Don't move back. Okay.
Okay. Very sportsmanlike for Jason Bell as to put the belt on Ryan Garcia, who improves to 15-0, 13 knockouts. This is the type of performance that will teach him a lot more about who he is as a boxer and where he needs to go as he steps up a level of competition. Now, in the center of the ring, Beto Duran with Ryan Garcia. You're doing good, Neil. You're doing good.